Welcome back, guys. We are officially in Chicago. Got a haircut, shaved myself. I feel like a different human being than being on the road. The RV is officially in the shop, getting the window fixed. I mean, look at this. What's going on? We are going down the highway. Just huge gust of wind just rips us. All of a sudden, this window flies off. Fixed. And today we're going to do a little pond challenge, but we thought it'd be interesting to see what kind of expensive Japanese baits we could find here at a local tackle shop. Well, we got the goods. We just bought four jerk baits for a little over a hundred dollars. It's like 101, and I got a little discount. If that shows you guys what kind of jerk baits we just bought. But this is Lee's Global Tackle. They have a bunch of JDM stuff here. And now we're gonna go to a little bit different store. Like this is like a specialty bass fishing store. Now we're gonna go to Dick's Sporting Goods and Matt's gonna pick out his lures. Three bucks. Oh wow, that is cheap. Bought the baits, we got the baits, we got the equipment. Now we're gonna take you guys to something that's kind of special to me. I've never shown you guys this on my channel. And um, yeah, we'll check it out when we get there. Poor investment. Look at that, <laughs> poor investment. What are you talking about? This thing is sick. So this right here, you guys can see it is a little 12 foot John boat. This is actually my first conversion boat that me and Matt did when, how old were we? 13, 14? Yeah, I think 16. 16? Sophomores. Sophomores? Okay, so 15. Um, but anyways, we did it with aluminum. Like this is a highly, like we went to a welding shop. We did this. It's got compartments. Um, the battery right there is ran, ran wire so that you can have a front trolling motor. Um, we've got a seat, a little, depth little depth finder, storage in the front. There's a lot of water in here for some reason. Matt keeps this boat um, at a little lake right near our house, and uh, we're going to test it out. I've never fished here with him before. This is a new lake that he found. He uh, actually does their, their landscaping for him, so that way he can um, fish this uh, little pond. But hopefully it's going to be good. The water is super, super clean. And, uh, yeah, let's begin. Let's start fishing, and uh, let's do this. All right, guys, so key to jerkbait fishing, I'm just going to go do at least what I do when it comes to jerkbait fishing. Matt's up front. He's throwing the cheap one. I'm going to be in the back just because I have the advantage. I like 10 or 12-pound tests. I'm ten, throwing 12-pound Guggen fluorocarbon, and I'm throwing it with a fast gear ratio reel. It's actually an 8-2 to 1 gear ratio reel and a 7-foot medium rod. Um, the reason for that kind of particular thing is you want to be able to pick your line up fast. That's why I use the fast gear ratio and then the fluorocarbon you use so that your bait can get down. Um, to the depths that you want. I keep a super loose drag when I'm using a jerk bait just in case they want to run and uh, those treble hooks you don't want to pull them out. Ooh. Got one. Yeah, Got I one. That, dude. that one freaking nailed it right there. I was working that so bad. It's crazy. You could see these fish coming up. That is fish numero one for this kind of little challenge. You, you got one too? Yeah. Oh! Crazy part is though, you did throw a cast with that jerk bait right there and didn't catch it. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. Um, maybe she reacted to mine and didn't. Yeah, maybe first. maybe you didn't get caught, but that one's little. This one's little. First two cold. fish of the day. Yeah, it's cold, dude. This water is cold. Yeah. Fish on. This one. This one. Literally. This is a big fish. Real big. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fish number two. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at how that fish ate it. Head first. Head first. That's when you know they want it. Came around and ate it head first. He's got just this little hook in him. That was all that was get, getting him. He ate that jerkbait so hard. All right, guys. We've definitely got a feel. Matt's got a feel for the cheap jerkbait. I've got a feel for my expensive jerkbait. Um, the only jerkbaits we haven't thrown are these Vision 110 Pluses. This is a jerkbait that dives a little bit deeper, and we're thinking that since this, this lake is pretty deep, that we're gonna need to use that. But we wanna spice it up, you know? We, we've got this challenge of expensive versus cheap, and that's all great or whatnot. But we're gonna do a challenge right now with the Vision 110 Pluses, and we're gonna do first one to 11, win by two, but the last fish you have to catch on the cheap jerkbait. So you could use any jerkbait you want, except the last fish has to be caught on the cheap jerk bait. The loser has to swim back from the middle of the lake to the dock in 40 degree water temp. It could end bad, it could end funny. We just wanna spice this video up and kinda of add some, some, some heat in the moment because we're fishing in our original childhood boat and I'm gonna beat Matt once again. Fish? Yes, number one. <laughs> yeah. Woo! 
<laughs> Matt's got one. Oh, on that deeper diving one, eh? Another one? No. No way. Yes! Oh, I was horsing him too much! No way. Oh wow, that's a nice one. Just flips him in. Oh no! Yes! Get to the back, son. Oh, true. Get to the back. True. This is where it's going to get interesting. I am using the shallower diving. He's using the deep diving. And switching in this baby. Okay, here hold we go. On, hold on. <laughs> I don't need a poke going. Oh my goodness, a big fish. <laughs> That's two. This looks like what I've needed in my life. No. It's a good one too. No. It's a good fish. Oh, I choked it. Dang it. No way that one's getting off. Three, though. That's number three. Three. MR has got three. Oh, they know you got three. Oh, they saw you. No. Woo! That's four. <laughs> ah, I feel like I might need to put that deep diving one on. Maybe not. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. You didn't even make a cast. There is fish number three for me. That one is a healthy, chunky fish. We've came in this back bay where the wind is blowing here. I'll face this way. Where the wind's blowing and that fish crushed it. It's three to four. I'm not talking much. I just wanna just wanna fish today. Just wanna beat MR Bass and oh no. Heck out of the front of the boat. <sighs> oh no. Got him. Bacon. Bacon. Just a bacon. Oh, hooked in the tail, baby. Come off. <laughs> Do not come off. Hell yes. Literally in the tail. Still counts, though, because as long as you don't sight fish for him. No way. No way. No. I'm a hatchery right now, boys. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, 6-4? Six, 6-4? Four? Six four? No. Back on the hatchery. That's 7-4, boys. No way. Oh my! Time four. Back just to back. Ten four. Reeling the jerk bait in. Just caught that one. It's over. It's pretty much over now. No, it's not over. Serious. Get to the back. Oh my god, this is a good fish. <laughs> Barely hooked, dude. Fish number five. Down by five. Alright guys, right now I'm in the middle of the lake because Rungi has only one fish left until he wins. And we can't let that happen. So we're going to have to try and keep him away from the bank and use this deeper diving jerk bait to uh, get us back in this ball game. There we go. There we go. Number six. Number six. Out here in the depths. This could be a good sign for me. To make a comeback, to make a comeback. Oh. oh my goodness, look at that one. There we go, fish number seven. Oh my goodness, we're making a comeback. I can't even talk, guys. I do not want to go into this freezing water right now. That fish is... Got a big mouth, but super skinny. My plan right now is to play the only card I have, which is boat control. So I'm staying way far away from the bank, making as long of casts as I can, and making sure Rungi can't throw that light jerk bait anywhere close to the shoreline. It's also a floating jerk bait. Mine's a suspending jerk bait. Throwing that little cheap jerk bait in there to catch the last fish was definitely key there for us, or for me at least, because. If I was in Ruggie's position right now, I would not be too happy. Oh, what? He may be forced to go shallow. Well, I just broke off the $25 jerk bait. <laughs> Might go back there to get it later this afternoon, but...
after a huge drought, we have fish number eight hooked on. Feels big. Oh, and number eight is in the boat. Oh no, 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 no. You need to get away from that shoreline there, mister. Get away from that shoreline. I'm trying to stay. You guys have heard this already, but. Yes. Number nine. <laughs> Tying fish, baby. Tying fish. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here doing nothing. That means you can put another jerk bait on. Because now that fish doesn't count if you catch it on there. Garbage. It's pretty amazing. Loading three it's pretty amazing. Jerk bait. Like, there's no way. It's pretty amazing. No. <laughs> what's going on here today, folks? Do you have one right it's now? It's crazy what's going on here today, folks. <laughs> It's not even amazing, it's just... It's 11... Catch one on that stupid... Fine, catch one. I understand competitions. I understand how to win competitions. I understand your strategic, and I, I respect <laughs> it, but, man, that jerkbait just blows. <laughs> so, right now, Rungi just caught another one. The score is now 11 to 11. Got to win by two, though. So, now we're both back to throwing the good jerkbait. Fish on. Get to the back, get to the back, get to the back. Fish on, fish on. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Really? AP's gonna win it right now. It's a big one. I'm hanging up. Yes! What a comeback. Cheap jerk bait, all about that boat control. Biggest fish of the day. How does that make you feel? I'm just happy it's over. <laughs> I don't really want to go in the water, but you know, you are one strategic competitor. Oh my goodness, man. I told you, cast over there, you'll find it. Buddy, what happened? He was up 10 to four. Within 10 minutes. Within the first 20 minutes. Killed me in the first 20 minutes. And then just put his head in his butt and did not. What are you talking about? You I'm throwing that jerk thing. You weren't doing. Dive deeper than two feet. That jerk bait is really bad. Two ninety nine, no, not no. worth it. It is not really bad. It's just not meant for these conditions. You cast it up shallow and caught that fish. And, you know. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, as far as the jerk bait, expensive versus cheap jerk bait. Expensive jerk bait is definitely gonna catch more fish, but it's like, it really depends on your conditions. And you know, pond fishing, a three dollar jerk bait could work out if you're fishing from shore. You don't need to go deep. But um, I'm going to vote for the expensive jerk bait in that scenario. And um, yeah, we caught most of our fish on it today. And it was a super fun day. You know, we changed it up. We came out here originally just going to do that, turn it into a challenge because we wanted to get more competitive. And now Rungi is going to swim back in 40 degree water temp in the middle of the lake. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode of AP Bassin. Um, another challenge. I love doing these, like I say every time. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys on another episode of AP Bassin.